And we have... Returned. Wait, do I have that? Yeah, okay, fine, that's fine. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. That right there was a song called Theme of a Really Spooky Bird. That's just something that I've been listening to a lot on YouTube lately for some reason. Um, that was from a video posted by somebody called uh, Boba Cupcake. It's actually really neat. It's just this cute little bird bobbing around on a broom. I think it's part of some kind of meme thing using this one bird graphic, but I don't know. It's a, it's a suitably spooky song for the season. Anyway, as you may have noticed, I was not streaming on Tuesday. I ended up being busy that day for personal reasons, and then I was going to make up for that by streaming on Wednesday, but then I ended up being sick. And I'm still kind of ill, but you know what? We've only got three days left of the spooky season. I've still got a few things I need to get through, so we're going to jump right in because this is going to be a different stream. This is going to be the first ever multiplayer stream I've ever done with a friend of mine that goes by the handle of Alterius. We played a game of Seven Days to Die together not too long ago and it was pretty good. It seemed to work out pretty well, so let's hope everything doesn't explode on us when we try it again. So I'm just going to boot up the game here now and uh, give him the invite and we'll sort out the sound as we go. I have not done this before. It's going to be interesting to see how well this comes through, but we'll see. It occurs to me I should probably switch over to the game tab because that's the only way this is going to work. I mean, you could just stare at my face for the entirety of the game. We'll see how that goes. I haven't played a whole lot of this off stream lately. I think I played a little bit of it um, off stream and then I waited specifically so that Alterius can join in. And uh, we played a couple of days of it, I think, the other day. Kind of screwed the poor guy over a little bit because I had him join in right during a horde night. We managed to survive it relatively well, though. So it's it's all good. It's all good. Ah, hello, Hollow Living. Welcome back to the stream. Yes, seven days to die. I hope you're having a lovely day. I just need to get everything ready here for my buddy to join me. Once the game loads, I do know how this game likes to take its time loading. Oh yes, we were in the middle of exploring a uh, <clears throat> um, another one of those water purification plants in a completely different town. Oh, my inventory is rather full. Switch over to that baton. All right, let's send the fella an invite, shall we? Boom. Oh yes, we are very unfortunate. I, I can't imagine that the uh, console versions of this game update much, if at all, and I know this game was horribly broken when it was first released. Eventually I'll make enough money off of you to buy a decent bottle of whiskey. Well, I mean, that could very well happen eventually, Rolls. I just need to check something here. Alright, the invite has been sent. Let's see if I can actually drop into Discord. We've found that that's probably the easiest way for us to uh, actually do the chatting for this.
Let's see if this is going to really screw up the audio. It's good that you're there, Hello Living, and Rolls. You you can, you know, help me judge if this is going to work. Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, good. Good, that seems to be working. Mm-hmm. What was that hollow? The, the console version was 15 updates behind the PC? Oh no. I want to answer your question, Rolls. Yeah, when you finally make affiliate, um, there is a minimum amount of money that you have to build up before you can actually um, get a check from Twitch. I think it's a hundred bucks or something like that because they take a cut out of it due to handling fees. You know, how that kind of thing works. Oh, Alterius, you are here. W where where are you? I'm loading in. Oh, you're loading in. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I was getting a little scared there for a minute because I was thinking, oh god, are you going to spawn all the way back at the original spawn point? God, I hope not. But your bicycle, it's here. <laughs> So how's this sound to the folks in chat? Do we have like a weird reverberating effect going on, or can you hear the both of us fine? Of course, you know, I completely forgot how long it does take this game to load, so, you know, there's that. Mm -hmm. But I suppose the good thing about that is, you know, once it loads, it's loaded. A bit of a reverb on Alterius? Hmm. Yeah, that might be a thing that I might need to fix at some point. Okay, alright, if it's not too bad, then we can just carry on as we are. Because I know this is something I screwed up myself with my own, like, audio setup at one point, like, I ended up having, like, an echo because there was the delay in it broadcasting to Twitch, so it just kept overlapping my voice, and that was fun, to say the least. Now, if this is going to drop you in exactly where you were last time, I guess you're going to be in that weird little spit over on the, the corner there. I do believe so. That or I jumped, like, where you are right now and locked off. Mm. Mm. But you would have been so safe over in the corner. Presumably. Maybe. I hear something oh. tromping around outside. That's that's definitely not you, though. <laughs> no, I'm finally initializing the world. Well, we might have some friends visiting when you when you get here. So, <laughs> yay, friends! Friends, I like friends. Yeah, friends are great. They're a bit too uh, huggy, though. Yeah, you gotta beat them off with a stick sometimes. Mm. Or an axe, or a shovel, you know, or the, something. Or these, these lovely flaming baseball bats that we have. Mm hmm Okay, one of them just made this weird grunting noise. I'm kind of concerned about that. <laughs> it was like a... <laughs> Oh, hello, baked. Welcome to the stream. I see you've I see you've noticed the new emote I made. I'll see if I can take care of this guy. Although he's breaking down a fairly reinforced door, so maybe I can wait. Go away, we don't want any. Oh, 
I don't know if this girl got cookies. See if they have any mint chocolate chip. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that I've ever had a girl god come along selling cookies this aggressively, though. Clearly, you haven't ran into the ones that used to go to Sobeys. Oh, well, I suppose that's true. <laughs> <laughs> They're like fucking Jack Torrance in The Shining. They just break down the, uh, break down the door, poke their head in, and scream, Here's Thin Mints! <laughs> Anyway, I'll see if I can hold them off until you get spawn in. But the one it seems see like... Someone. Oh, creating my player now. Oh, good, good! I found some duct tape. There's that. Duct tape is always good. It's the Apocalypse oh. Survivor's best friend. Oh, there you are! You are on the little thing up there. Yes, yes, I am. Alright, let's go smack some zombies in the face. Awesome. They're they're coming through this door over here. The door's locked. Um, I don't know what uh. he just... Okay. Oh, he's still alive. He's, he's still good, he's still good. You just kind of phase through the door a little bit, that's all. And maybe I can try my fancy new stun baton on him. There you go. I still think I like the uh, fiery baseball bat a bit better, but we'll see. Interesting. Um, I'm a little concerned, though, because one of the feral zombies was what stuck its head through the door. Where'd it go? Hmm. Very curious. Hello, Kia Rook. Or Kia Ryuk, welcome to the chat. Um, Hello. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared about where that thing went. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't hear it anyway. Maybe it actually killed itself by hurling into the door. <laughs> maybe. It'd be nice for them to do our job for us. Um, so yeah, maybe we can just grab as much as we can carry from this place and then head back either to one of the bases or the, uh, the town with that asshole Trader Hugh. Sure. I'll start disassembling cars. Hmm. Good call, we do need the gas. Mm-hmm. And the springs and stuff. Oh. oh, there's a friend. I got him. I mean, this thing is cool and all. I'm probably gonna keep it, but I, I like my fiery baseball bat better. There's some gas. And the ever elusive springs. Yes. Yeah, I think I forgot to mention it the last time we were playing this together, but another good place to get springs are apparently beds. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, wait. We need to do this in tandem. For you two. Alright, hunk away! It's our battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she good? She good. Alright, so where do you want to go to drop the stuff off? Back to where Hugh is, or back to uh, one of the bases? Uh, oh, Hugh's the traitor guy, right? Yeah, the dude in the big wooden I mean, wooden we should fort. probably go back to one of the base. Probably go back to the main base and dump all the stuff we should keep. Yeah, that's a good call. I need uh, to repair so my uh, wrench, too. Oh, I, I think... I think we're actually going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, it was just coming over to get another car. Oh, okay. Fair enough. My and there's one just here. destroyed, so I figured I might as well kill it. 
There we go. Now, see, you laugh, Rolls, about this. Rolls is saying, you know, zombie apocalypse, grab a bicycle. He laughs. Well, yeah, he laughs. I love to ride my bicycle. I love to ride my bike. It's a surprisingly useful thing to have in a situation like this. <laughs> Except perhaps for me, because I never did learn how to ride a bike. <laughs> Much to my eternal shame. Really? I thought we used to ride bikes. Um, I believe I attempted when we were younger, but it never worked out. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't know that I ever went beyond the training wheel phase, and then I had one nasty spill and I was like, you know what, I think I'm good with just my own two feet. Hugs the old me and all. Aha! I've defeated the car. Did I make a pickaxe last time? No, I didn't. Uh, no you didn't. I think I've got all the gear back at the base you might need to make them. Oh, you're chopping down a tree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's our car over there. We'll run over and dismantle that. Oh, look. Comes one wibbly-wobbly zombie now. That is one of the wibbly-wobbly ones. Oh, he dropped loot. We seem to be getting more loot, I've noticed. I don't know if that's just because you're here, because I think you do get more stuff if there's more players. Okay. I think that also means more zombies, but you know. <laughs> I, I, lo I love the animation for getting back on the bicycle. It's, it's one thing watching it when... Yeah, it's one thing watching it when you do it yourself, but like, I saw you from the distance doing it, and it was... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, base is back this way. Oh, wow. If you what? hit C, you do a little bunny hop. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, so you do. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, wait, no! <laughs> I'm surprised this isn't taking up any stamina. <laughs> that was a weird-looking chicken. Uh, most of the chickens in this game are pretty weird. We take in the road, or are we going to try and go through the... Uh... Triple? You know what? Let's... Oh, well, I didn't mean to get off my bike. Let's live dangerously. Let's try to cut straight across. Alright, I'm going to follow you, because I think you have a better bead on where the uh, markers are. Yeah. I think we're that's probably it. better off. Hmm? Oh, that's one of those big fat ones. Oh yeah, one of the guys that pukes. Mm-hmm. I think we're better off probably swinging around the uh, mountain here. Because as we've discovered last time, these are not mountain bikes. Oh wait, I nearly rode headlong into an Arapuki guy. Oh, actually maybe we're going to uh, stop here for a minute. Yep. There's some there's wolves, a, too. Yeah. There's at least one. Alright, you watch my back for that guy, and I'll see if I can take this thing out. We need the food. Yep. Holy shit, I actually hit us. Nice. Come on, come over here. Actually, actually try to attack me, please. No, I think it's trying to run away. <laughs> Even when they do that. See, is that a wolf or is that a mountain goat? Because it's hauling ass up that cliff. Ah, shit. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna run up the cliff and see if I can grab it.
I just see a shooting star, or did you just fire an arrow at the cliff? <laughs> Shoot an arrow. Okay. <laughs> Got a little confused there for a minute. Damn thing's gonna be waiting behind a crag with all its friends, isn't it? I'm gonna... Oh! Blundering Bob can certainly jump. Are you talking about a zombie, or are you talking about yourself? <laughs> the zombie. Okay, alright. You know, I think that wolf may have given me the slip. Oh wait, no, there it is. Oh, we're starting to get some zombies spawning in around us now, too. Okay. Damn it. Okay, it's dead. Jesus, that took a lot more effort than I thought it would. Alright, I'll head back down after I'm done harvesting this thing. <laughs> Alright! Now let's get down here without breaking a leg. Good luck! Have fun! It seems how we were on the topic of vehicles and rolls in the chat there. It says his, his ass is going to be grabbing a tank as soon as this happens. Um, like, I, I don't know if... I can't remember what I did the last time I streamed this. I was talking about building a mini bike, but I don't think I actually did yet. So anyone who was watching me stream this before, I built the mini bike, and it's one hell of a gas hog. Oh. Crawly man. Ooh, Crawly man got loot. Crawly man just made me gain a level. See? Um, here you can take that if you want. There's a uh, there's some shotgun shells in that. Sweet. Seems how you are the boomstick man. Oh wait, that's your. Do you want the uh, the mod schematic? Uh, no, I think I've already got that one. Hello, friend. Boom! I, I I am very happy that I specialized in one-hand weaponry. It's taking heads off all over the place. Um, this way. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I built the mini bike, and the mini bike is like one horrible gas hog. Handy for transporting stuff, but I don't know how much deep exploration I want to do with the thing. There's a deer to our right. All right. Yep. Oh, I see it. All right, let's see if I can take this thing down in one shot. <laughs> just wanted to follow up, just in case. Well, you know how dangerous those deer can be. Right. That's the rule. Double tap. Doesn't matter what it is. Oh, zombie behind us. I was going to say, I keep hearing footsteps, but I can't tell if it's you or something. No, it's right there. Okay. Let me on my back. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think one thing that uh, maybe we can do at some point is uh, maybe do a little bit of exploring, because I feel like to make gas-powered vehicles at all viable, we're going to need to find a desert biome. Why desert? Um, apparently it's the only place you can find oil shale. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you need that to make gasoline. I, I've done a lot of delving on the wiki for this game. Fair. Which in of itself can be kind of dangerous, because some of the info was- That's a bear! Stop. It's up to her right, see it? By the rock. Mm -hmm. Let's go this way. <laughs> I've, oh, ha I've, had, I've had a lot of bad experience with bears.
don't know if I've ever fought a bear. I have. It's not fun. According to Bake there in the chat, they're quite unbearable. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're punny. Sad fact is, he's a mod, so he can't even ban himself. <laughs> he's tried. Fair enough. Okay, we can take the road from here, I think. But yeah, bears. Uh, a while ago, I did like a, a reclamation mission or something. I had to go find some buried treasure out in that blasted, burned out area next to the um, sanitation plant we hold up in when we played last time. Mm -hmm. And I was digging away, and there was a zombie bear in front of me. And I knew it was there, so I was keeping an eye on it as I was digging. What I didn't realize is that they're really goddamn quiet. One snuck into the hole with me, behind me, without me realizing it. So there was that. Didn't figure a bear could be that quiet? You'd be surprised. <laughs> and then that thing, like, broke one of my arms, and then a vulture flew out of the sky and infected me and gave me a nasty cut, and... You really did have an unbearable time. Yes, indeed. Unvulturable time as well. That That's not a very good pun. <laughs> that's not even a pun. Remember, I have a half-assed trench dug in front of this, and I just fell into the hole with the charcoal <laughs> again. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, shit! No, I did the same! <laughs> uh. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to leave the bikes here then, because I think there's stuff yeah. in both of them. Uh, I gotta well, we'll take, take what we, we what we can. Oh wait, no, this one doesn't have anything in it. There, must all be in yours. Storage. I love how we just I think both I got everything. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So should be able to pick up the bike. I think. I got it. All right, oh. we're good. I can't get out. There we go. I'd be able to dig you out if need be. Now let's try not to kill ourselves climbing down the ladder. Alright. Oh shit. That was close. Did you, did you nearly kill yourself climbing down the ladder? Yeah. Y yeah. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll just poke away our stuff in as organized a fashion as we can. Mm hmm. Oh, I have a bunch of raw meat too. I don't remember cutting anything up. Oh, that's good. We need more food. Yep. Well, I say that, and there's like 75 pieces of raw meat in the thing here. All right, I've got. Uh, how you doing in terms of food? I've got nine pieces of grilled meat. Uh, I don't have any food on me right now. Okay, all right. Well, I'll make a bunch for you. I can make you some bacon and eggs. Woohoo! Good stuff. I'll make Where that a bunch were you more. putting? Hmm? So I'll just make that and a bunch more grilled meat for you. Cool. Where was I putting what? Um, like gun casings and stuff. Bullet casing. Oh, I've been putting that in. Yeah, and the same thing with all the other weaponry. That one there. Okay. Now, let's see. Duct tape going there. Clay soil. Um, robotics parts. Where have I been putting? Oh, yeah, I've been putting them in the general uh, construction thing. Springs, pipes. No, the iron stays out. Chemical parts, feathers. Got almost 2,000 gas that time. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Repair kits. Oh, repair kits? Um, I don't know if I've got... Oh, I've got two in here. There's two in the uh, general 
chest over here. Can't. Oh shit. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. I used one to repair my uh, my wrench. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need to do the same too. Like a lot of my stuff is kind of half gone, but um, my wrench is starting to heal the effects. What is our goal right now, Aspect? That's a good question. Honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, maybe we can do a little bit more exploring this time around, I guess? Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, because Ooh. I haven't really gone north at all. Like, that, that whole area of the map is completely blank to me, and, like, that's the main road I spawned in originally. So maybe we can stock up on food and water and stuff and head north. I have a uh, level 6 lead care battery in the thing here for you. Nice. That'll come in handy when we can make motorcycles and stuff. <laughs> Damn wooden chair. Oh, you picked up the chair? Yeah, that, that was a bad spot for me to put that. Would have been fine if I wasn't playing. <laughs> oh, oh no, I've picked that up several times already. Well, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Putting it back. Putting it back with authority, apparently. Hey -ya! Yeah. Um, can I make some more red tea? That shit is real useful. Oh, I can make a load of red tea. Alright. It would help if I had something I can use to combust, though. Let's get some coal. Alright, so like I said last time, if you need anything to build anything, you can use whatever you want here. Mm-hmm. A pickaxe would be a pretty handy thing to have, so... Yeah, I'm uh, gonna look it up and see what I need. Oh no, Baked, I've really decorated the place for Halloween. I have two jack-o'-lanterns! Honestly, I feel like making more. Let's repair that wrench. Oh, oh I got some duct tape put away. I should see if I have any skills, too. Oh, that uh, assault rifle is starting to look pretty worse for wear, too. I'm debating whether I want to take that with us or not. If we're going for a big explorer, I'd say take it just in case. Yeah, you never know. Oh, I have two points. Oh, yeah, I think I gained a level, too. I should... Now I've got a point. Uh, I really want to increase Grease Monkey. Although, what's phys Physician? Hmm. I mean, that makes healing items more effective. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad one to take for now. take the hammer, I think. I'll put away the Duke's tokens for now. It's not quite finished. Should I take the animal tracker perk? Um, it's pretty handy from what I've seen if we actually need to gather up any more food. Because uh, the first perk, if you crouch for a little bit, it'll... Uh, track any rabbits and chickens in the immediate area. Alright, well I picked that one up. 
And I might learn lock picking. Oh, that's a handy one to have too. Like I haven't come across anything that's been locked lately, but when you need it, you need it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's daytime. Hooray! The happy music's playing. Alright, so I got a lockpick on me. I should take some food with me this time. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff finished in there. Um, okay. You can take all the food if you want. Um, just leave me some of the red tea. I've got four of them. Well, three, because I'm going to uh, drink one now. Okay. This time you can have the bacon and eggs. Yay! I'll put away the stun baton. As cool as it is, I still like my baseball bat. Yeah, the baseball bat is pretty awesome. Where did you poke the money? Oh, the money? The, the money goes mm -hmm. in this cupboard over here by the uh, bedroll. Speaking of, it might not be a bad idea for you to lay a bedroll down here just in case something goes horribly wrong while we're going. That's a good idea. <laughs> Which means I should probably pick that one up and lay it down again, because it only registers the last one. Oh, and plant fibers in that cloth. I think there's a bunch of those. I hope oh, so, God. anyway. Nope, that's not where that can goes. Okay, so I need... 30 iron. I got the wood. I need leather and duct tape. Alright. Okay, there we go. My respawn point has been reset. Corn meal goes in here. Alright, I'm going to make an iron pickaxe. Oh. Hmm, I should probably repair that um, pistol too, I guess, just in case. You know, one of the things that always gives me the most anxiety about a game like this, and this game is really bad for it, is whenever I go exploring anywhere, I'm like, oh god, am I not carrying enough? Am I carrying too much? Because <laughs> it's like, I want to have as much inventory space as I can to carry stuff, but then I'm like, but, but what if I don't have what I need to survive? <laughs> Yeah, it's always the worst part. Yeah. Like, for example, seeing as how we're going on a bit of a trek, I'm kind of wondering, like, how much medical supplies we should take. I've got two first aid bandages and two, well, vitamins aren't really important, but... I feel like I should take some antibiotics, though. I've got a bunch of them. I'll take four. I got... I got six water, a, red, a couple of red teas, okay. some alcohol, green, uh, what do you call it, goldenrod, and yucca, and some food. Alright. Most is just like wood and bone and stuff. Yeah. Like, I poked away pretty much everything, except I've got a stack of ammunition for the um, AK, I've got most of a stack of ammunition for the 9mm. Got all my tools. I might put the hammer away though. The hammer's only good for upgrading. Fair enough. So. Oh, I actually have two hammers, so if you wanted one at any point. Cool. So yeah, I'm pretty well good to go, I think. I've got seven pieces of grilled meat that should do for now. If need be, we can hunt as we're on the way. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take much to uh, build a campfire. No. All right, so we head north. Uh, yeah. Uh, have you made a bed yet? A, like an actual bed or a bedroll? A uh, bedroll. Yeah, I got it poked in here. 
Oh, you got it poked over here? Okay, good. So you got your pickaxe, you got your bedroll, put over here with the... It's it's nice that we cleaned up all the corpses so you're not sleeping next to a bunch of dead bodies. <laughs> all right. S something about that seems horribly unsanitary. All right, I've got both of our bikes, so I guess we're good to go. Apparently not, though, because... No. We're not allowed to. We're not allowed to leave. <laughs> it's scary out there. Yep. Did I leave anything in this? Oh shit! Wait, what? <laughs> Me and ladders don't get along. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Mind right. the holes. Yes, let's mind the holes. I, I need to do better with those. Um. Okay, I'll lay out the bugs. You know, the game says that you're technically able to die these, and I tried with the first one I built, but, like, it didn't work. Hmm. Which was strange. <laughs> Do you remember how the other day you were saying, like, there was something floating in front of mine? Do you see it now? I, I see it in front of yours. Which is funny, because... Like what? <laughs> it looks like you're riding with a, a uh, sandwich just hanging in front of you. Which is funny, because from my perspective, it's you. You have the sandwich. Weird. You have the psychic sandwich. <laughs> or, I suppose that'd be Road telekinetic. Snack, man. Road snack. Yeah, exactly. No apocalyptic road trip is complete without magic sandwich. Ooh. Ooh? One of these <laughs> days I'm going to do a backflip. <laughs> Like we come so oh wait, that ah! almost did yeah. it. All right, yeah. So the main road here is where I originally spawned. I guess that might be where you came in too originally. Uh, I think somewhere around here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got a ways. So if we keep following this road north, we might come across something new. All right. It'd be real cool if we can eventually work our way up to have, like, a decent supply of gas and I can build a truck. What's the biggest vehicle you can make in this now? I think it is the truck. It's like a 4x4 four four truck. Fair enough. I think that might be the only vehicle you can get um, multiple people in. Although you can make a gyrocopter. I don't know if that was in the game last time you played. No, it wasn't. I did that out of spite. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> out of spike? Well, I mean, there's a few spikes in the bat, I guess. <laughs> I did it with spike, I did it out of spite. If nothing else, if we come across any cars along the way, we can dismantle them. Yeah, eventually you'd see those uh, three towers I had built back there. I think I'm going to make one of them like a helipad. When I figure out how to build the uh, gyrocopter. Fair enough. Ooh. That's a house. Also, there's a rather large house. Mm -hmm. Seems like it has an interesting roof. Yeah, maybe we'll check that out. You want to dismantle this thing, or will I? I can. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to try to plan out things so we don't overload our inventories with the same stuff. Yep. Yeah. Onwards to the big fancy house. Oh, it's a big fancy house. Hey, look, the door's open for us. Uh, that's reassuring, I guess. <laughs> Don't go this way! <laughs> Don't do what I did! <laughs> 
as soon as I walked in, it was just boom. Well, you know what? I, I, I've got a perk that lets me survive fall damage pretty well, so... Rather than leave you alone with unknowable horror. It's <laughs> just Felicia. Nah. He loses She's not his head about nothing. <laughs> not a very gracious host, that Felicia. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's dismantle this light. Yes, that's to get my concrete. And build that tower somehow. This workbench has a stone shovel. Do you need one? Uh, no, I'm good. I've got a steel shovel. <laughs> fancy, fancy. Well, I mean, you know. Yeah. I found it by pure chance, basically. <laughs> the shovel's one of those tools that, like, you can get by pretty well with just the stone one. I hear them, but I don't see them. <laughs> Upstairs. Oh, one of them just fell on the spikes. <laughs> Drop some steel tool parts. I got a pile of um, those. I just don't know what to make with them yet. The uh, start your trouble. The pallets of like stones. You said those are good to take, right? Um, they might be. I don't know what, uh, what does it oh, give it's just straight stone. Oh, okay. All right. That's not, um, that important then. Mm. It's these blue wrapped ones and, um, there's, there's like what almost, well, it's bags of cement is what it is on the pallet. Gotcha. It's mainly the stuff I'm looking for to build the towers. Well, I'll let you take those apart and I'll go up and start killing zombies upstairs. Ooh, I found a hidden stash. How did I miss that one? Oh, it came across from the other wall. Yeah, it's real fun how they just randomly appear on you sometimes, you know? Mm-hmm. Good how time for things to come. There was mm -hmm. a splint in that purse. Oh, <laughs> that's distressing. Mm-hmm. Oh, there was two wrenches there. I found a quest in the trash can. Oh, it's a good spot to keep your quests. Mm -hmm. Let's see, the dog days are over challenge. A strange note I found while looting is from the Crazy Jake clan. Congrats, Recruit. This note is a personal invitation to join our clan. We've been following you and see potential. Do this job and we'll think about letting you join. Let's see if you're tough enough to kill some zombie dogs. I'm fucking crazy Jake. That, that's that's good. Why am I hitting you with a torch? should be hitting you with a flaming baseball bat. So we have someone new in chat. Hello! Nice to see you. I'm going back downstairs. That's not where I'm meant to go. There's another blue mm -hmm. thingamajig. This is zombie. My bicycle handlebars schematic. I assume you already know that. Uh, bicycle handlebars, yeah. It's like I've got a schematic here for um, a tactical assault rifle. I don't know if I know how to make that. I'm going to look it up. I do not. Um, do you mind if I read that one or did you want? No, go ahead. All yours. 
We gotta do some parkour. Parkour! Oh uh, yeah, yeah, cause, hmm, is there an easy way upstairs, I wonder? Something fine by. I hear a zombie coming. Oof. Well, if you can do it, so can I! <laughs> Ray! Happy to came a pool while we wait. Well, I mean, it is one of my favorite pastimes. I wonder what we can get for dismantling this thing, though. Wood, apparently. Well, how about that? So I do, I, I do play a lot of zombie and survival games. Um, but um, like I've specifically been playing a lot of them now because, well, you know. Halloween theme stuff. And to answer your question, Rolls, zombie kills of the week. I don't know, Alterius. Have we had any interesting kills? <laughs> not really, not yet. I think I mean, the we... most interesting thing we've seen so far was a zombie who stuck his head through a door. Oh, yeah, there was that. Up we go. Um, I've got a couple of things here first. Let's see. I've got a structural brace mod schematic and a shotgun duckbill mod schematic. I feel like you should take that one. Probably a good idea. Using the shotguns. Here, I'll drop it on the ground in front of you. There we go. I think I know how to make the structural brace one. No, I don't. Okay, I'll read that one. Survive the Knights. No, I have not played that game. I'll have to look that up. Oh, there's two in here. Oh, you want to cross this way? Yeah. I see fire reflecting off of the door, so I'm assuming <laughs> that's you. <laughs> Padded oh, chest yeah. armor. Yeah, you can uh, hang on to that if you want. I'm pretty good with my scrap stuff until I can make something better. Would you like any tough guy sunglasses or ski goggles? I'm good with my nerdy glasses, thanks. I've, I've got the cigar offsetting the nerdy glasses. Fair. Uh, how do we get upstairs from here, I wonder? Over across this way, maybe? Probably. Yeah. Is that the room? No. I wasn't in that room. Or room. Mm. Across the hallway. Oh, or across uh, you the could, hole in the floor. Yeah, you can, um... Oh! Get okay. over this way. Oh, well, I mean, just maybe just be careful on the boards. <laughs> <laughs> I'll search this dirty pile of clothing. I found a college jacket. Do you want a college jacket? <laughs> what does it look like? Um, here, take a look. Apparently I didn't have a jacket. Oh, there we go. Oh, the bed. I'll take a part of the bed. Let's get our springs. Oh, you say that Survive the Night's game is on sale? Oh yeah, that's right. The um, the Steam Halloween sale started today. Oh boy. <laughs> Steam wants more of my money. Steam always wants more of them. Yeah. Ooh, cupboards. These aren't checked. Oh, well you missed those. You can take a look at those. Nothing in them anyway. Yeah. Some water. Oh, here we go. This is some cement mix or what have you. <gasps> Food stash! Careful. Coffee! Ooh, coffee fee. Coffee fee fee fee. Lord knows I haven't had enough caffeine yet today. I've had a disgusting amount of caffeine today. I've only had one. Which is rare for me. 
I'm willing to bet by this point I've had at least a full pot. Oh jeez. Ow. Oh god. You, you good in there? Do you need some help? <laughs> I need an adult. I can't well, the swing! Best you, <laughs> the best you can get is me. Oof. That was scary. I, I, I hear more, but they might be outside. They're gonna have a hell of a time trying to reach us from up here, though. Yep. Okay, oh, so one just fell through the roof at me. Oh, they uh, like doing that. <laughs> Close the door. There. <laughs> okay, so what I'm hearing about this, um... What I'm hearing about this Survive the Night game, apparently it's kind of like this. It might be okay. a thing to look into. You know, give Steam more of my money. <laughs> Backpack! How are you for uh, inventory space? I'm still doing pretty good. I've got a number okay. of... Uh, Number of slots still open. This is gonna be a U run, because that that ceiling flooring whatever is gonna fall. So you're gonna have to like run across. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, maybe maybe what I can do is like maybe I can try to jump across this way, and you can run across that, or you can destroy it. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could repair it, but I can't. Oh uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to try to run across and jump here, and then you can run across the other section. That didn't work. Nope. <laughs> that, did, that didn't work at all. Let's see. I, I'll, I'll just be the rear guard. I'll just take out these zombies who are trying to catch us. <laughs> So hey, we didn't take any splints with us, did we? I have one eye. I may need one. I think I just broke a femur or something. Yeah, you fell pretty far. I did. I mean, I've got a perk that helps with that, but probably not to that degree. I don't know if I want to try and run across or not. I kind of do. Go for it. Oh, whoa. Keep going. Yeah. That was scary. It, th the game did a weird thing when you did that. It's almost like a couch or something fell on top of me. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. Like something just appeared in my space. Hmm. Slowly making can't, my way to I can't to see him going through all that trouble of making this room here. Not having anything here. Nah, there might be something hidden. Uh, let's see, how can I get across? Because I fell straight through that. This is not going to be good for my leg. I did it! <laughs> oh, there's a way up to uh, the go. ceiling from... There's a way up to the ceiling from here, that's why. Ah, didn't see that yet. Now, how to get up there? Wait a moment. Wait, if we break that chair or this table, it's gonna be too long. Oh, wait, no, I can get it. Bam. There you go. I'll take this as well. Oh, there's there's oh. a vulture. Ow! Ooh. Coming back in. Okay. I'm almost dead. I got it. Jesus! It's raining, man. <laughs> Do you have any bandages? I've got some first aid bandages. Okay. Hold on now. I could have Wait. one of them. 
There we go, I have one. It's right there. Um, Thanks. Turns out I didn't actually need the splint because I've just sprained my leg, not broken it. So of course I can't uh -huh. use the damn thing. Okay, let's try this again. Hey look, there's a big SOS written up here. Do you think they actually survived? Uh, I think they sank. Mm. Yeah, no swimming done here. No swimming done here. Oh my. See, I got some sledgehammer parts, rifle parts, shotgun parts, steel knuckle parts, and some iron knuckles. Would you like some meat stew? Um. Oh god! Uh, vulture. Nice swing. I, I am shocked I got that in midair <laughs> with that axe. The axe is not meant for combat. It worked that time. Yeah. Um, no, you can have the meat stew if you want. Okay. Uh, 9 mil ammo. I, uh, think that answers our question. See, what I'm getting out of this is Sub-Zero came up here and killed this guy. <laughs> Fatality! Oh, there's a Stone weapons bag. sledgehammer. Hmm. We'll take these. I mean, we've got a hell of a view up here, at least. Mm-hmm. That, uh... Chimney needs some work. Yeah. Why? Oh, mm -hmm. why does my... My character has a... Head on the corner. Looks like it's throbbing. Has a what? Oh, 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 you might have a concussion. Probably. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you hit tab to go into your inventory, you can click on the little things on the left-hand side, and it gives you more info about what's happening. Oh, yeah, have a concussion. I need painkillers. Yeah, I didn't think to take any. I, I, I need to do a, um, gravity test here. Oh, well, maybe not. It's going to take... Oh, wait, no, no, I can get through this pretty quick. Maybe. Ha! And now it we worked. have a weird- we have a weird crystal. <laughs> Suddenly this has turned into Fall Fantasy. Okay. Protect the crystals. Yeah, you're right, Hunter. This would be a pretty decent base. However, that being said, I like our bunker base. I feel like the bunker base is a bit more def oh, yeah. defendable. Yeah, it's gonna be- we're, we're gonna have to tear the walls down, I think, to get through. Yeah, this one. This one here is probably the easiest one to get through. Alright. Success! Now, do I want to take the quick way? The quick and dangerous way? <laughs> Screw it, let's try it. Nope, oh, safe. Oh, there's a back door. The back door's locked. You alright? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're there. Alright. It was the. Get you getting down. Now, I activated that quest I found. Um, can you see the quest marker too, or do I need to share that with you? I think you'd need to share it. I don't see anything.
So how do I share quests? Oh wait, we're not even at a party. Oh yeah, that probably would explain it, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's fix let's fix that, shall we? Here we go. Ooh, it's a hard quest. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah, that's right, because it's dogs. We have to kill dogs. Did you want to go over and try it, or...? Um, I need to unload my inventory first. Okay, alright, we can bike back to a base if you want. Yeah, it's not like we got very far. No, we did not. We just saw this giant house and we were like, oh, cool! That's the worst thing with this game, though. Yeah, Well, like, worst uh, and best. Yeah, there's just so many things to explore. And nearly everything is useful. Ooh. Hell back. Paper. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna ask, check the mailbox, is there any, like, you know, inheritances from rich uncles or something, or is it just bills? <laughs> I think paper is a key component in making shotgun shells, though, though I did stock up on quite a few, so you're probably good for ammunition for now. Mm-hmm. I won't need any for a while. Hmm. Now, see, I felt that way about the, um, AK and, um, 9mm ammunition, too, but then after a couple of Horde Nights... Well, that's always true. Alright, so I guess we'll go offload some stuff, and, um, then maybe go do that quest. Yep. Oh, wait, I have a... what's that now? Mild infection. Oh! Um... I'll take care of that when we get back. Okay, yeah. Like, like uh, if the percentage isn't too high, a bit of honey should be good enough for that. No, it's only like 3.1%. Oh, look at this fucker. He thinks he's a cowboy. Only I may be cowboy. No. No. Alright. <laughs> Victory honk! <laughs> and jumps. Yeah, I get the feeling if we are really gunning for, like, something specific, like if we are going to be looking for that biome, that we're going to have to, uh, probably, and this is going to be difficult, <laughs> ignore things and just ride right mm -hmm. by them. I mean, alternatively, if we can find something interesting on our travels, we can mark it on our maps. That is very true. Oh, the thing we're riding by right now is the first base I had set up, this Walding building. Cool. Oh, that's the one before you find the uh, Before I found the base. bunker. Yeah, which uh, we need to hang a right past this cliff if we're going to get to it. Yep. Woo! <laughs> and then we jump. <laughs> Send in the clowns! If only there was some way we could dress ourselves up as clowns. I don't think that type of um, clothing option is in this game. Probably not. We'd be scarier than the zombies, at least. You're not wrong. Let me go down the ladder. <laughs> Not fall down and break your toes or something. Alright, the steel knuckles, shotgun, rifle, sledgehammer, none of those go in there. Tool parts. Tom's weapon. 
Blue bone, stone, spring, cloth. I was wondering where the hell I got all the cloth from, but no, I dismantled a bed, didn't I? <laughs> Should I? Yeah. Scrap? Like, padded, like, old armor and stuff, or should I keep that to sell? Um, I've been selling it, but if you want to scrap it, that's fine, too, because a lot of the armor, unless it's higher quality stuff, doesn't sell for much. Like, I'd say okay. anything anything below 100 tokens, you can probably scrap. Oh, yeah, this one's only 14. Yeah, no, you can get rid of that. Like, I've been hoarding a lot of stuff to sell that's probably not even really all that great. I've got a puffer coat, if you wanted a puffer coat. Allow me to model it for you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is the coat. Uh, I'll stick with my uh, college jacket. Okay. I like the duster, because of course I do. Well, yeah. Who wouldn't? Oh wait, I didn't re-equip it, though. Here we go. Oh shit. What just happened? I accidentally took all the uh, stuff out of the container with the gasoline. Oh, well, thankfully there was not a lot of stuff in there, so... Yeah. Yeah, the rotten, no, no, the rotten flesh isn't going to go in there. But yeah, um, there's some honey in that um, cabinet there. Okay. So you should probably... Uh, yeah, I should take that now because my infection's gone up a bit. Mm -hmm. I, I think as long as it doesn't go beyond 10 or 15%, the honey is still good. Did I put on here? Oh yeah, the rotten flesh. What cabinet was it? Um, uh, this one right here. One right okay, in front of yeah. you. And it's gone. Oh. And my oh, concussion's good. gone. Good. to make some more food. I went through what I had pretty quick. How you doing for grub? Pretty good. Picked up some a couple cans right there too. Let's see if I can make some sham chowder. That shit's pretty good. I like that you can actually make a can of sham yourself, like the the off-brand spam. And wanna know what the ingredients for it are? Sure. The ingredients for sham are rotting flesh, bone, animal fat, and a bottle of acid. Awesome. Yeah, it sounds like exactly like something you want to eat, right? Right. Although sham chowder is actually pretty good. A can of sham, potato, ear of corn, boiled water. Starting to run low on regular corn though, and I don't know if I want to use my super corn. I want to learn how to make seeds out of that before I do anything else with it. Potato. I got loads of potatoes. Potatoes are always good. They are, yes. Oh, I need one more ear corn. Alright. I gotta learn how to make corn seeds at some point. Okay, yeah. Um, we should probably make some more first aid bandages if we can too, but I don't know how much aloe I've got. I'll check up here and see if I am standing on the fire. I need to not burn myself a lot. <laughs> Let's make first aid as I stand on a fire. Well, you know, got to practice your skills somehow, right? <laughs> Alright, I'll just make some more. The aloe meat, is maybe. not grown. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, this stuff is still growing. It's not actually grown yet. I think I've got some aloe seeds. So I should plant some more. Where should I put, like, extra tools and stuff? Um, we talking like, uh, like just building and gathering tools? Yeah, like the, I got two extra wrenches and stuff. Uh, you can put those in the just general construction box, uh, the, the okay. reinforced chest there. Alright. Alright, I think I've got aloe seeds, let's see. Because I feel like that's something we're going to need a lot of. Yeah, I've got four aloe vera seeds. What do I need for, um, farm plots? Uh, wood, rotting flesh, nitrate powder, and clay soil. I think most of that is in the uh, thing there anyway. Yeah. yeah, there's some clay soil, some woods. I got the rotting flesh. What was the other thing I said I needed? Nitrate powder. Yeah. That means I need to dig the garden a bit further. I can give you a hand. I have a shovel now. Okay. Um, do you have a pickaxe yet? Yep. Okay, that's probably a bit easier. Just uh, because th this is mostly stone. Just be careful as you're digging, right. because it's real easy to break the crops. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't help. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Just make sure that it's not, um, you know doesn't have uh, a crop name highlighted. Gotcha. I'm gonna go grab the seeds. What does that mean? Uh -oh, does what does what? Oh. Oh, I should make another farm block. block. Looks like there's five seeds. Alright. Oh, wait. Yes. Hmm. No, I need to dig out a bit more rounded, I think. Let's take a look at the chat. Do I play any D&D &D or tabletop role-playing games? You found this a zombie survival one? Huh. What's the name of that? I mean, I don't play a lot of uh, tabletop stuff anymore, but it'd be an interesting thing to look into. Era survival. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. How about you, Rob? You play much tabletop stuff lately? Not really. I haven't played, uh, never got into D&D &D or anything. Yeah. But, uh, I used to play a lot of, like, you know, typical Monopoly and all that stuff, but not a whole lot else. Ah, yes, Monopoly. <laughs> horrible, horrible Monopoly. <laughs> And as soon as you, as soon as we say that, as soon as we say that, rolls in the chat also says that he's an old school guy who has only really played played Monopoly, mm -hmm. the, the the game that ends friendships. Right. Forgot how janky digging in this game was. Oh yeah, no, it's weird. Like it, it's that that's why I was trying I was trying to make like a neat grate up top for the sun and stuff to come through. But they did not line up well at all. Ah, uh, yeah, you could do that, Hunter, if you'd like. I don't really know if I'd have the time to um, check it out as in depth as I probably should, but it'd be nice to poke around at it. That um, era survival thing you're talking about. Is there enough room here for... yep. Okay, I think we're good. Perfect. I, I think you may have dug up something, though, while you were doing that. It might have been... <laughs> no. I, 
It was something here. Okay. You probably you've got a seed in your inventory, probably. Uh. Nope, no seeds. Hmm. Weird. Well, whatever it was, oh, it's not wait. important. <laughs> it was a chrysanthemum. Okay, yeah, you can plant that there again. That's that's a pretty important thing for making the um, red tea. Boop. Okay, thanks for that link there, Hunter. I'll check that out afterwards. That rules. You were an accounting major in college for about three days, played Monopoly with some other accounting majors, and let's just say you didn't get an accounting degree. <laughs> <laughs> playing a playing Monopoly with a pile of accountants seems like a horrible thing to do. Like, I can't see that working out well for anybody. Alright, what's that baton parts that can go over here? Now that we've done our severe underground farming. Sort through this stuff and then we can mosey along again. Mm-hmm. take the splint just in case we need it. Oh, there's a bunch of aloe cream in there and there's two first aid. How many first aid bandages do you have? I don't have any. Oh, okay. There's uh, two in there. You can take those and I'll make another couple. Okay. Oh, they're, they're in the cabinet underneath you. There, uh, I took one. Okay, all right. Well, you can take both of them if you want. I've, uh, I'm going to okay. make a bunch here now. Okay, cool. Uh, let's make... I've got one on me. I'll make uh, four more. Every now and then I hear footsteps and I start freaking out because I think it's stuff above us, but I think it's just ours, because... Wait. No, it might just be us. Okay. Freaks me right the hell out. <laughs> there's the rotting flesh. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch in this cabinet down here, too. Oh, there was. It oh, looks okay. like you took it. But yeah, either down um, here or up there. Should we take a first aid kit each? That mightn't be a bad idea. That stuff is pretty potent. So yeah, you take one out of there and then I'll grab another. Yep. Um, let's see. Did you want one of the coffees I had? Uh, sure. It's not a bad thing to drink down while we're leaving, because um, yep. it'll increase our stamina regen. Uh, let's see, I just got to put away the empty water jars and I should be good to go. I'm going to toss my land came, claim block in the secure chest we got right here. Okay. Just to have it not in the way. Mm -hmm. Good call. <clears throat> Alright. I've got a bunch of grilled meat, got my guns, some antibiotics. I think I'm good to go. If you wanted to brave the night and head over to that quest. 
Yeah, sure. Should be either daybreak or pretty close too by the time we get back. Or get over there, I should say. Boop. It's a very light looking night, isn't it? It really is. Alright, so we'll hit the road again. On the road again. Oh wait, I should probably drink that coffee first to get the stamina boost. Yeah, I forgot about that too. Alright. God, speaking of Monopoly though, kind of reminds me of, um... Oh wait, hold on, now I need to check something. Oh, it's directly across from this road, the place we have to go. Huh. Sweet. I thought it was closer to the house we were in, but alright. Yeah, speaking of Monopoly, just reminds me of all the times I'd play board games with my brother. You know the one. You know the brother I'm talking about, I presume. It was Sean, that one. Yeah. The one closest to me in age. Mm -hmm. it, probably, it probably wouldn't surprise you to um, know that we used to get very um, intense about it. <laughs> no, not really. Yeah. Pretty, uh... I'm pretty standard, I feel. Because <laughs> I, I remember specifically, we used to play, like, it's not something we do much now because uh, as we're older, but like when we were younger, we'd have these board game marathons every Christmas when we were both off from school. And I remember very distinctly one time we were playing Monopoly and he, lucky bastard, well, lucky conniving bastard, got all of the most expensive properties. Like, you know, the area <laughs> where Boardwalk and all that stuff is, that side mm -hmm. of the board? He owned everything the green on and the blues. Yeah. He owned everything on that side of the board. That's always hurting. Yeah, so like I remember I, I went across that and he I ended up having to pay him like way more money than I actually had. I remember very distinctly taking the handful of uh, Monopoly money I had left, throwing it in his face and yelling at him, Take your blood money. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate to you guys. And then there was a risk. Like, I don't know if you remember oh, that song. Oh, risk is terrible. Yeah, I don't know if you remember that song, that Seinfeld episode where um, uh, Newman mm -hmm. and Kramer were playing that extended... That, that's exactly what we got, like... That's nuts. Except, except till near the end. Like, when we really started getting sick of it and we just threw away all pretense of, you know, civility and just tried to kill each other. Mm-hmm. That's when it turned out more like that show Undergrads, if you ever watched that. I've never seen Undergrads. Okay, it was uh, this cartoon that was only on for one season. There's this one guy called uh, Nitz, who um, is really intense about it. And at the end, he just screams that he declares kamikaze on them and throws all soldiers at them. Can we do that? Are we right, here so, now? Yeah, we are. I just gotta activate the thing, so just... Make sure that you're prepared, and then I'll activate it. Beep, beep. Oh, I'm as prepared as I'm gonna be. Oh, actually, is the quest in your thing? Uh... Like, can you see it? The dog days are over. Oh, you, you got it? Alright, good. Yep. Alright, prepare yourself, because they're gonna be coming at us from basically every angle. Okay. Oh, there they are. I'm walking on them. <laughs> oh, that's it. That We're it? done. Yep. Oh, jeez. Well, okay then. It was just one brief orgy of violence, and now we're fine. The only killer of this is, of course, they're zombies, so we can't get edible food off of them. Yeah. But well, we can make a bunch of farm plots. And the leather is still good. And what trader do we have to go to for that? I just want to see, because I know that one was in mine too, but I didn't... Like, is it a shared one, or do you get your own? I don't know. Like, it says yeah, I have to... It's still on mine. 
Oh, so is the big exclamation point still there? Because we have uh, to go talk, we gotta talk to the trader to turn the quest in. Let's see. Like you can go into your quest list and see if it's active. Yeah, I just put down a marker for it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Marker for where you have to go for the quest? Um, I do not. I think you might need to share it. Well, that's like... I've I've got the spot in the quest now where I have to go talk to the trader, but I don't know what trader I need to talk to. Because it's not popping up on my map anywhere as a marker. I don't know if I just talk to any random trader. But yeah, I don't see yours. Oh, and answer your question there, Hunter. Warhammer 40k is something I never really got into. That's that's one of those games I didn't really get into, though I know a lot of people are pretty hardcore into it. I mean, super hardcore into it. <laughs> oh, there we go. I think I just shared it. Oh, mine's okay. Like, yeah, mine's down there. Okay, so we both got the same quest, but we're in different spots. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, did you want to bike down there and do that? Yeah, we can. That'll send us down next to, um... The trader who's not an asshole, I think. Fair enough. Yeah. Alright, I'll have you lead the way on this then, I guess, because I can't actually see it on my map. Well, on the okay, mini-map, I should say. Be this way, I believe. Yeah, the thing is, I think that's going to take us down to um, the, the the blasted and burned out area. Oh, great! So you know, we have to deal with all that fun stuff. Oh, this is a big mountain. Mm, yeah, we might want to ride around that. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, the, the, the game is telling me to turn the quest into the trader, but it's not specifying which one. I don't know if I can just talk to any of them. Well, we'll find out after we do your side of it. Hey, look, Crawler. You go away, it's my bike. You don't have the legs to use them. <laughs> it's just like walking dead all over again. He didn't have a leg to stand on. Ah. <laughs> oh, I swear I won't feed you back. to the dogs. Oh yeah, there you go. Check that out. <laughs> Empty duffel bag. Oh yeah, I think I came over this way for a quest at some point. Boy. Yeah, respawn for containers in this game is weird. Because sometimes they respawn, sometimes they don't. Yeah, I think it's all time based too. Yeah. Well, this. Wow. Oh, I think that might be a hole I dug back there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when I'm biking around from place to place. Whoa! I think I hit an invisible wall and just bounced back for some reason. Fine now, though. Yeah, when I'm wandering about doing quests and the like, if I come across a random resource, I just, like, dig a hole in the ground and then leave it. Fair enough. 
Yeah, we're getting into the burned out territory. <laughs> yep. No. Come on. Eh. Oh. Okay. So hopping helps you get out of those stupid little hole. Good to know. I didn't, I didn't even know hopping was an option until we started playing this together. Bird! Right. Bird! 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 Zombie! Bird! No! No! Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I do have an abrasion, however. I can use a first aid bandage, but I don't think I want to waste that just yet. I'm bad, but I'm not that bad. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, it's dark and spooky. You're very spooky. It's too spooky for me. Um. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how I managed. Are, are you stuck on the bricks somehow? Well, can, can, dead in the middle. I, I, I am now stuck on the bricks as well. Wait. Wait. Nope. Come on. Alright. Hey, look, a pool of water. I bet you that's safe to drink. Oh, definitely. Alright. Mm -hmm. It's up way. Up over this hill? Yeah. Seems like the kind of place the vultures really like spawning, so, um, yeah. <laughs> I thought I saw a town in the distance in this area, too, at one point, but I don't know. We are almost there. Oh. The floating sandwich that was in front of your bike has turned into a floating bottle of water. <laughs> It's nice to see that it's keeping you well fed and hydrated. Oh, there it is. Right here, under this tree. Oh, that's lovely that is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come up here. And maybe I got a better view, hopefully. Alright. Ready when you are. <laughs> yep, just gonna knock the tree down so this is not in the way. Probably a good idea. You get coal from these trees, too, when you knock them down. Which is handy. Oh, great. My axe broke. Um, if you, you can if you can find a random stone, you can repair it. Oh, wait. I should be able to... Yay, smart. Hmm. <laughs> This area of the game just spooks the hell out of me. Understandably so. Okay. You ready? Uh, yep. Yeah. There we go. There they are. Ow. Why are you all coming for me? I didn't activate the quest. <laughs> Because you had the loudest gun, apparently. Yeah, that makes sense. And I'm currently infected. You and guys have to take care of it. I do, yeah, I've got some antibiotics. Okay. I might just let the infection progress a little bit, though, to make it more justifiable using them. <laughs> unless, unless I can get some honey from one of these trees. I don't know if I can from these, but let's find out. Not 
from these. Makes sense. They're probably pretty, you know, dry. Okay. Alright, so you as well. You as well have it telling you to go to a trader. I should, yeah. Alright. Well, unless it gives you a specific one to go to, I guess we can go back and talk to, um, Bob, I believe his name is. What? What? I didn't kill... I didn't kill enough dog. Really? Yeah. Well, shit. Because oh. you, you gotta kill three of them on your own. Oh, that sucks. I didn't realize that was a thing. Oh, well. This one's not giving me anything. I'm gonna stop cutting him up. Oh, I think it might be because I already started him on. Oh, okay. Seems strange, but okay. Well, I guess we'll go talk to Bob and I can turn mine in. <laughs> I guess. Yep. I, I think there is a way you can share the quest so that it doesn't matter who does what, but... I don't know. There's still a lot about this I don't understand. Eh. Whatever, we got to do it twice. Yeah. And I mean, it doesn't seem like it's going away because I'm not in the area. So, I mean, we'll kill more zombie dogs eventually and I'll get it, so why not? Yeah, that's true. Um, let's see, which way? This way. Zoom! Okay, we're, we're on the border between the really shitty place and the not-so-shitty place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we follow this road, we'll get into town. Alright. Yeah, it's empty. Shall you dismantle it, or shall I? I can do it. Alright. I don't want flashing you with the light, but... <laughs> seemed like the thing to do at the time. Chop down our tree, see if I can get some honey. I thought for certain that it was like every tree would give me a little bit of honey, but I guess it must be a percentage. I can't remember what the perk said exactly. Oh, there's Bob over there. Alright. And it's a time. Hooray! Oh. Shit, I vanished because he's not open yet. I I hate that the game does that. If you try to go to the trader when he's not open, you just vanish. You, like, just go sailing through it. So, where are you? Oh, you're over there. I, I, it, it sent me to the other side of the uh, trading area. Weird. It's fun, you tried. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, you didn't go anywhere near as far. No, it just sent me to the other... Whoop! Now I'm gone. Okay, I think he opens at like 6 or 8, so we can hang around uh, hang around out here and maybe explore some stuff for us if you want. Yeah. I think we I checked think that building. Yeah, I, I think I may have already checked that building. I think I've already went through most of this area, so I don't even know really what we can explore. I can demolish a couple cards. Yeah, there you go, do that. 
Yeah, there's another one over here. I'll go get it. Yep. I, I, I had this issue with this game where I kept thinking to myself, oh, I'll build a base here and I'll build a base here. And that scrapyard over there actually has another bunker underneath it. That's a pretty good spot. Fair enough. Although I decided, no, I should focus on just building a spot in one area. I think I've explored this house, but I'm not sure. So not to say zombies haven't oh, respawned, though. <laughs> All I hear is a kaboom! <laughs> I just found some more uh, cement up here. I'm just digging around. Cool. I can say it's a very different experience playing it with somebody else because like just hearing random shotgun blasts <laughs> is 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 kind of interesting. Ow. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah, I just fell through the um attic. Uh -huh. And a couple of schematics. Hey, it doesn't it looks like I didn't actually fully explore this house. A few zombies out here, too. Wait, where are you? Just oh, outside. outside. Okay. There's a lot of zombies here. Oh, yeah! Looks like a horde must have come by. <laughs> pew! Pew pew! A little silence gun. <laughs> and the big little shack. Cool! Huzzah! Now, let's see. I got a Tech Junkie Volume 5. Oh, I know that one. I didn't even touch the door! <laughs> yeah, it's really tangly how it transports you. Ooh, egg. Andy! Alright, so I've got a Tech Junkie Volume 5 and a Sniper Rifle Schematic. You want either of those? No, you can win. Alright. I don't know either of them, so... Mm -hmm. I think we got that. That said, Nazi gains creamery. Oh Jesus! Like, oh, <laughs> there, there, no. there's, there's there's so much wrong with that. <laughs> for, I don't think there's anything right with that. <laughs> like like, why would it be a creamery? <laughs> Yeah, I think I've looted the entirety of this place, but... Probably. Alright, it's six. Can we go inside now? No, we cannot. <laughs> oh. now. now! Now we can go in, like minutes after. How you doing there, Keanu? Oh yeah, I forgot. Thank you, Survivor. <laughs> My family and I are in your debt. Here dirty old, dirty old Keanu. Oh, 
Oh, I'm running low on uh, oh, food. Check back again and oh. have did you turn your quest in? I did, yeah. Cool. So What'd you get? Need to st stop and eat. Um, just some experience and some money. That wasn't one that gave any other rewards. Uh. All right, where to? I think I'm going to have call the night. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, Jesus, we've been at this for two hours. <laughs> yep. And I got to work in the morning. Oh, that's <clears> even <throat> worse again. <laughs> yep. All right. What? Hello? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay. We, we were just talking over each other, that's all. Um, oh, sorry. yeah. So, thanks for stopping by for this again. This this is pretty fun, actually. Yeah. I like this game. And then he just vanishes. Puff <laughs> gun. <laughs> Whoop. So yeah, no, we'll have to do this again sometime, and uh, maybe we'll actually explore a bit further than where I've went. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of moving, like, you know, 500 yards from the house and finding another house and looting it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe next time we'll do an actual, you know, full-on run straight up the road until we find something more interesting than just a random house. Mm-hmm. All right, so cool. Thanks for that. And uh, I guess I will talk to you later on. Cool. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And then I click back into the game and randomly shoot. Alright, folks. I might actually stop there myself now in a moment. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna ride all the way back to uh, base and drop off my stuff before I stop playing. And, um... Maybe I'll see about... Doing some buildy stuff before I stop myself. Also, corn. I need to take this corn. I don't want to stray too far from this area, though, because it's like, you know... <laughs> that'd be one hell of a joke, wouldn't it? It's like, yeah, we'll just leave Rob stranded. Although, I suppose for that matter, he's in one of the safest areas of the game, so it's not really... Well, I mean, for a relative given value of safe. Let's take about the shopping cart. So yeah, probably what I'll do is I'll show you the uh, mini bike. It's it's not a terribly impressive vehicle. It hardly moves any faster than this thing does. You can kind of gun it and make it go a little bit faster, but it's just. Pretty shitty, overall. From what I've heard, like, from a lot of the, um, chat stuff that I've seen about this... What well, chat stuff? What am I talking about? Um, like, posts about this game. A lot of people have said how the mini bike is just, like, a temporary stepping stone between, like, you know, the bicycle and the motorcycle. It's not really something you want to use permanently. Because apparently the motorcycle is real good for, like, just general travel, and the, uh, truck is good for transporting massive amounts of goods, so. And the gyrocopter is just fun, I think, so. <laughs> it's gonna be quite some time before I can build that, though. I like the level of progression in this game, but it seems like it takes forever to, uh, build up certain perks. Unless you specialize. <laughs> it's not as fun when it's just me doing it, though. I'm a sad, lonely clown making his way in the undead world.
my sad, lonely cry. Yeah, something tells me I might start playing a lot of this off stream again, just like trying to build up the base. <laughs> Although that'd be a hell of a thing too, is like play it straight on up until just hours before another horde night and then just have Rob join me then. It's like, oh yeah, stop by and you'll, you'll just get mauled to death in front of the traders. Yeah, see, the mini bike's not bad, but like it's a pretty big gas hog and it doesn't really move that much faster than the bicycle. Like by holding shift, you can get go a little bit faster, like just like the bicycle, but you know, it burns more gas. It's not bad, but it's not fantastic. So, let's just put away some of our stuff. Pipes, oil, stuff. Stuff and things. Yeah, I'll keep the pine seeds. I'm gonna plant some trees. Nope, that's not where the tin can goes. Actually, I'm gonna to want to take out that stuff, I think. Go in there. My, my hunger meter keeps depleting quite a bit. Oh, good. It looks like some of the stuff has grown. Looks like all of the stuff has grown. Let's do some harvesting. Well, not that aloe, obviously, but. Ooh, actually, you know what? Seeing as how so long ago in the stream Baked commented on our lovely pumpkins, let's make some more. Or maybe at least one more. Figure out where the hell I put the... There it is. Let's make a couple. Check our lantern. Just a matter of figuring out where I'm gonna put them is the thing. I can't put it there. Put them on top of the box. Put one over in this corner, maybe. Except I can't, because the shit's in the way. How about this corner? Yeah, there we go. Bam. Let's uh, flank this one, maybe. Except I don't think I can because it's too close. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. Maybe I'll put one out by his uh, bed. He needs a pumpkin-y pumpkin friend. Let's try this full up. Yeah, whatever. I don't really need to put much else away. Not for what I'm going to do. Let's 
So, what am I going to do? Oh yes, I want to make a garage door. 5x3, what do I need for that? 90 forged iron spring. I think the forged iron is going to be the problem there. Yeah, I had a bunch, but then we made some stuff to kit Rob out. Let's just make some more! Alright, so if that's the case, I'm not going to be able to do too much just yet then. Because I want to make the door before I know how that's going to pan out. Bunch of flagstone blocks though, let's make uh, 200. Because yeah, I'm just going to have a trio of towers. Like that one over there is going to be over the, um, you know, the car hole. And uh, that one, which was put by accident, I might just make a helipad for a gyrocopter. I'm debating whether I'm just going to put a massive wall going from tower to tower, but... I can put a cheery message on the wall for the zombies if I do that, but we'll see. Yeah, I've kind of started digging this area out. I just don't know how wide it needs to be. Like, I don't know if what it says it's 5 by 3, meaning it goes the full 5, or if it fits within 5. So I'm going to need the door before I can figure that out. rather than dick around with that some more, I think I might, um, might see what I can do to decorate the top there. Because I think that's as tall as I want to make it. Uh, but the problem is, if I decorate it too much right now before I know how I want everything to connect, if I want it to connect. Well, I'm going to want it to connect because I'm going to want to go from place to place. <clears throat> but I don't know, I feel like it might be pretty stupid to, um... It might be pretty stupid to make a solid wall going all the way across because that's just more shit for the zombies to attack. So I don't know how great of an idea that is. See what kind of shapes I can get out of this. Ooh, shape. Um, ramp. Arch. Arrow slits. Interesting. Corners. Pillars. That look like. I mean, that might look okay if I put it against here, right? It's just a matter of trying to position myself so that I can actually build it properly. Well, I mean, I can start making it on this side, I guess, because, you know. You know! Building stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> Stairs, wedge tip stairs, full corner top. What's that look like? I might be better off just looking at designs that people have already done and just taking some inspiration from that. Or just flat out stealing the designs, you know, whatever. And gables. Yeah, that might be what I do rather than like half assing it. Here, trying to figure out what I'm doing with it. <clears throat> Let's go check how the forge is doing. Oh, there's one other thing I want to check too while I'm here. Is 
This is going to attract a shitload of zombies, but I don't care. Um, I oh have yeah, the empty cans. There we go. because the land claim block and the bedroll don't extend this far, although it might now with Rob's down. A zombie occasionally appears in the bathroom. Yeah, there he is. Lousy squatter. Too bad the shower fixture doesn't work, eh, buddy? Yeah. Shows you, jerk. This is actually going a lot quicker than I thought. I might be able to build that thing now. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. I can apparently make sinks and toilets. I don't know if there's any purpose to these. Like, can I use them to get more water, or is it just decoration? I need a bucket of water, short iron. How do I make a bucket? Forged iron. Alright, so I'm gonna need a little bit more if I want to make that bucket. Nearly got enough anyway, so. <laughs> just, just swapping between them. Oh, one more. Come on, man. All right. Do we have more tin cans? I think we do. Yeah, there we go. It's probably a pile of deadheads sneaking around up there now. Sniffing out my shit. So what do I need to make that door? Well, a workbench, obviously. I can make a powered one, but I don't want to waste my generator for that. Okay, so I need spring... chemical parts. Rolling garage door, 5x2. Rolling overhead garage door that can be locked. Using the default placement, you are standing on the outside, and it will open by rolling up and away from you. Yeah, sure. Let's make it. Apparently I need to wait 10 minutes for that, so we might not see that now, but who knows? Who knows? Good night to you as well, Baked. Thanks for stopping by. I'm probably going to be finishing up myself pretty soon. Just want to test a few things. For a start, I'm going to waste some iron to see if I can make a sink that I can just continuously draw water from. I was like, why am I going outside? No, sink. 
bucket of water, yes. To do that, I have a lovely lake nearby. Honestly, I'm surprised a shitload of zombies haven't shown up yet. On full tilt with the whole, um, smelting business. Kind of slowed down a bit there. Yeah, the hope is on Horde Knights, like, if I can arrange this well enough, they'll go straight for the door and just try to break that down. And I can either, like, hang out on top of this tower or scoot over to that one and shoot at them from there. Not sure. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we need short iron pipe, mechanical parts, and wood. So I just need to get the pipe. Again, I have no idea if this is even anything that's useful. It might just be decoration. It might just be like any of the other sinks in the game rather than, you know, anything I can actually use. Let's make one, see what happens. Anything else, I have a lovely decoration for myself. Utility sink, commercial sink, commercial counter sink. Well, let's just stick with the regular old sink. And it's entirely decorative. I can't do anything with it. That was a waste. Oh well. It looks nice at least. Good to know. Good to know so I won't waste any resources on it again. Unless I feel like putting toilets all over the place. It's the apocalypse. Nobody poops. actually hang out for a little bit and wait for that to finish. I, I really want to see how that lays out and how it's going to work. Still need more food. Uh, let's see. Let's actually sort through some stuff I guess while I'm waiting. more coffee at some point. Coffee is pretty useful. Probably put those shotgun shells away too so Robin pick them up next time he's here.
don't know how much I actually want to use the crossbow, but I might as well start storing crossbow bolts just in case. Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Oh man, <laughs> that only killed two minutes. Oh man. And maybe I'll run up top and see if I can find some more um, tiny woodland critters to murder. I think the area around the base is pretty well hunted out, but we'll see. Yeah, I haven't really spotted much of anything around here lately. There does appear to be an iron node up there, though. We'll hack away at that for a little bit. clanging noise. It is so devoid of life. Well, it's also devoid of unlife, so maybe I should be counting my blessings. Oh, apparently that's it. Oh wait, no. I was just in the wrong spot, that's all. Keep hearing what could be footsteps, but it also might just be the music. Alright, let's head back. This shit should be done now. I hope so, anyway. Again, really surprised I haven't seen a horde of zombies come rolling through. For certain, I'd be, you know, doing enough activity that they would. Are you ready, Dor? Oh, so close. <laughs> What mods can I make? That's something to check. Only a sawn off shotgun mod? Ah, I thought there'd be more. Oh wait, because I put mods. Barrel extender, clothing pockets. I mean, those are actually pretty good, but I um, don't have the steel to make them. 
Shit, how do I make a crucible? That's something I really need. Advanced engineering. Or a crucible schematic. And I need a shitload of forged iron to make it. Alright, that, that's a ways off yet. have a little gander how this is going to work out and I'll probably call it then. <laughs> I mean, what? It's going to be hard, isn't it? I think the best way for me to do it is if I um, dig out the ground here and uh, line that off with the flagstone too. Give it a nice solid base to go on. It's gonna go right out into the road. Oh well, I'm committed now, so I can shape it to my whims afterwards. It's gonna go right like that, isn't it? Well, there we go. It's down now. Oh, that's so weird. It just rolls up into nothing. Yeah, that's right, Rolls. Things the movies don't teach about you about the zombie apocalypse. Just how much manual labor is required. Buddy, manual labor is the main selling point of this game. Look at all the shit you have to force yourself to do. Oh boy, sand. Sand. Excuse me while I keep rolling over the one item I want to use. Mm, let's see if we can doll that up a little bit up top. Do we got a rounded thing I can use or will I just use the wedges? Cannot see what that looks like. Not quite what I want. Maybe just we'll use a ramp or something like that. Inside corner, maybe. Nah. Not only manual labor, but also design choices. <laughs> one quarter, <laughs> one quarter corner three way. Hmm, there's a lot of math involved there. A lot of possibly sexy math. Hmm. What is one quarter of a three way? Yeah, no, I think I might just stick with something simple for this. Um, Amper, is that going to be too high? Oh, 
that's good. That's good. It's starting to get dark and spooky. Like, there's a lot of crazy shit I think you can build in this game, but I am... I like that that didn't work. Uh, I need to be supported. I couldn't just build one on top of the thing. Physics is a harsh mistress, and gravity is just an asshole. I'm gonna need ramps for that too to go in. Uh, do I want to just have the ramp there or do I want to extend it by one? Yeah, let's extend it by a block. I'm gonna have to go through the whole rigmarole of getting the material I want to upgrade all this shit. It's a lovely bunker-like building I have made there. Let's give her a little test. Let's grab the mini bike and see if I can plot that in there. If I don't fall into a hole again. Honestly, building a garage is also kind of pointless because I think every vehicle, even something as big as the 4x4, is something you can just pick up and put into your inventory as long as it doesn't have stuff in it. I mean, it kind of works. Going up that hump's a bit difficult, but... Yeah, it's not bad. That's, that's, that's not bad. Could be worse, could be better, but it could be worse. Extend that a bit. Alright, I'm just going to go grab my hammer and randomly upgrade some of that shit, and I think that'll be it for tonight. Like how I've just been haphazardly upgrading this. I think there's like a couple of pieces of the main tower here I've upgraded that I didn't mean to. Because I think the fully upgrade it to its most um, strongest, its most durable, you need to use steel or something, and yeah. I had some steel and I accidentally used it. So whoops. Concrete mix, I don't have enough of it. I can do a single round of upgrading, I guess, if nothing else. Can't upgrade the door, which is a shame, but. Uh, 
I love that I get a shitload of experience just for doing this. The game will, the game rewards you for everything you do, which is kind of nice, actually. If only life were like that. Anyway. Take a step back and look at my handiwork. This is going to look real shitty even when I'm finished, isn't it? Like this haphazard array of stuff. Well, it doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to be functional. Anyway, that'll do for this. Alright, let me just switch over to the webcam for my closing thing and see if I've got anybody I can send you over to. Who else is streaming right now? Not really anybody I can send you to, I don't think. None of the local streamers are doing anything right now, and none of the followers are either. Alright, that'll do for tonight then. So, if you happen to stop by to watch, thank you very much for doing so. No rules, thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, so there's only three days left, well, two days left, really, until Halloween. Halloween's Saturday. So, I've got a couple of more things in mind that I need to do. Um, I want to finish speed dating for ghosts because there's still a bunch of stuff left in I, I I just got so invested with the ghosts in that in that game. Like I love their stories. I don't know what it is. So I'd like to try to finish that if I can. I'd like to finish at least the run that I was doing in Death Road Canada. So that might be what I do tomorrow. Like yes, I'm going to stream again on Friday even though I don't really usually stream on Friday. So the plan the plan and hopefully it'll work because, you know, how things just fuck up every now and then. Is that tomorrow, sometime early in the afternoon or evening, I'm going to do either, well, I'm probably going to do both Speed Dating for Ghosts and Death Road Canada, try to finish off what I want to do with two of them. And then on Saturday, um, I might, I, I started doing stuff for Halloween and Animal Crossing and then I just stopped. If I get things set up, I might actually stream that. If not, I might do that on my own, you know, whatever. But two things I would like to do is that the classic absurdity that is AI Dungeon, they've apparently updated it a couple of days ago with some Halloween-themed stuff, so I might do that. And one thing I definitely am going to do on Saturday is I am going to stream Faith... Two, the sequel to the really fucked up retro looking game that I did last year that scared the bejesus out of me. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Until then, however, as always, I thank you very much for stopping by, if you did indeed do so. And um, it was real fun streaming with Rob. Like, maybe I'll do more, more multiplayer streams in the future. I think I'm still going to be mainly a single player kind of guy, because that's just how I am. And, uh, but I, I really enjoy, you know, certain games with other people, so we'll see how that works out. Until next time, as always, I wish you a farewell. Hope you have a great day. So long for now.